greetings and salutations to you all. In this video, I will be customizing one of my denim jeans that has a little hole on the knee. But I thought to make it more interesting, I would take discarded pieces of other denim jeans to make a kind of patchwork on my jeans that has the hole. And to start this project, I did take those denim pieces that had patterns on them and that were different colors and just cut, cut them into cubic shapes. And I'm just going to use them just like that. Other darker colors like the black denims and the blue denims, I thought rather than keeping them that flat, I would try and use bleach to give them a bit more of a characteristic or a bit more detail otherwise it would just look very plain. Alongside all the denim pieces which I cut into cubic shapes and used bleach on I did find this diamond shape which I did add to the jean in the future since it was a bit more different than just cubic shapes or this other shape that I found on a jean. I did try to add variation in the size of every cube but after I cut everything and thought that I had enough cubes and shapes I just got the bleach ready and started to make different forms and things on the black denim since the blue denim didn't really change it just looked like a smudge or it looked like very old denim which I enjoyed I, I liked how it looked but I try to make the black denims a bit more interesting and a bit more creative. After I bleached everything that I wanted to bleach, I did iron every cube and every shape so that it would be flat and be easier to sew onto the denim jean. Rather than sewing it immediately onto the denim jean, I would just pin it down to make sure that was the right angle and placement and the right piece of material to go there and if it wasn't I would just change it with another piece of material or I would change the position. Before I pinned all the other pieces down I just laid everything out so it would be easier to see what I had available to put at other places. And this planning and switching and pinning took more than two hours to do. After I have pinned everything down where I want it and in the angle that I wanted it, I started sewing all the pieces by hand. I could have used a machine and I did for two or three pieces, but I'm not very good with a sewing machine so I just thought, eh, I'll do it by hand. This process of sewing the patches onto the denim jean was quite a therapeutic one since you could easily put on a movie and sew away while not concentrating what you're doing with your hands. While I was working on this jean, I did find this little bug which was just so cute. He didn't do much, he just walked around on my arm. I decided to name him Mantis after the praying mantis that is in Kung Fu Panda. After a while of playing with him and seeing what he can do, I decided to put him outside in our garden. It was a bit hard to put him back because it was windy that day and the leaves and the branches kept moving but I mean he's from Kung Fu Panda, I'm sure he can handle it.
with this last stitch the project comes to an end. Thank you to those who have watched till the end and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and while you're down there consider subscribing. All of you must have a wonderful day and remember to take care of yourself and rest.